Sometimes we get sums where we've got some random number out in the front and that can often complicate things. Very often what students want to do is they want to try to take this minus 2 and put it into this bracket first. However you can't due to this number 2 over here. That 2 has to be taken care of first. So what I would say is you can almost ignore the minus 2. So we'll just leave it out in the front for now. This x plus 1 to the power of 2, remember that means you have to use 2 brackets. Now we'll leave this minus 2 out in the front and we'll go multiply all of this together. But because there's a minus 2 out in the front, we need to remember that. So we'll put one big bracket and we'll go work out the x plus 1 times by x plus 1. And so we'll start by multiplying x and x and that's going to give us x to the power of 2. And then we'll multiply the x with the positive 1 which is just positive x. So now that we've used this x over here, we now need to use this positive 1. And so we'll start by multiplying it with this x over here. And so positive 1 times by x is x. And positive 1 times positive 1 is plus 1. Now all that we do is we take this minus 2 and we multiply it into this bracket. So it has to go to every single term in that bracket. So we'll start by multiplying minus 2 with x squared. Well, that's just going to give us minus 2x squared. Then we're going to multiply minus 2 and x, and that's just going to give us minus 2x. There's another minus 2 times by x, which is going to be minus 2x again. And then minus 2 times by positive 1 is minus 2. The last step would be to go and identify any like terms and we do have like terms. We've got an x over there and an x over there and so I'm going to first just write down minus 2x squared because that stays as it is. Then minus 2 minus 2, well that's minus 4x and then this minus 2 at the end will just be written as it is and that will be the answer for that one. With this next one, so there's various options to, or ways in which we can do this question, but the best way is always to do the two brackets, okay? And then you leave the minus 2 on the outside for now. So it will look like this. It will be minus 2. Then you'll open up a big bracket and put the answer that you get after you've multiplied these two smaller brackets together. inside. You put that inside that big bracket. And then in the last step, you'll put the minus 2 into that. So we'll start by multiplying x and x, which is x squared. And then the x with the 2, which is going to be plus 2x. We've now used this x over here. So now the next step would be to use the minus 1 together with this x over here. And that's going to give us negative x. And then minus 1 times by 2 is negative 2. Now in the next step, we will multiply this minus 2 into each part. So minus 2 times by x squared is negative 2x squared. Minus 2 times by positive 2x is negative 4x. Minus 2 times by minus x is going to give us positive 2x. And lastly, minus 2 times minus 2 is going to give us positive 4. The next step would then be to go and find any like terms. Here we've got an x and an x, so those are going to go together. And so this minus 2x squared will just be written in the front. This part you can do on your calculator if you struggle with integers, but minus 4 plus 2, that's going to give us minus 2x, and then this 4 at the end will just stay as it is, and that will be the answer for that one.